Hi, welcome back to another episode of Thinking Outside the Box on Noah's Ark. Today we're going to talk about how to create tape delay effects using a semi-professional reel-to-reel tape machine. So let's first uh, talk about the history of tape delay. Well, tape delay has been around since the dawn of you know, tape recording and um, its invention cannot be possibly pinpoint to a single pioneer, but uh, I can cite many you know, early adopters such as Jimmy Page and David Gilmore and they used respectively two of the most popular tape delay devices on the market at the time, which is uh, the Echoplex and the Binson Echorec. So although the Echoplex was also famous for its capabilities of uh, boosting the signal and adding warmth to a guitar tone, and a lot of guitarists use that without the tape delay functionality. But aside from that, the Echoplex works uh, as a single tape loop that rotates inside the device and it has a record head and a play head placed around that loop. But the thing is, you can modify the position of the play head and that's gonna change the delay time. But on the other hand, the Binson Echo Rec was a little different in the sense that it had a tape around this metal drum that rotates. And around that, you would have uh, four different uh, play heads placed around. And that's gonna, that allowed you to uh, create some intricate rhythmic patterns of echoes using the device but you could only um, change the speed of the drum so changing the delay time of all the playheads at the same time. So those are the two uh, most famous tape delays along with a third one called the Roland Space Echo. So how do you create tape delay with a reel-to-reel -reel tape recorder? Well, you're gonna have to think about two different variables first when calculating the delay time. Well, first we have to think about the distance between the record head and the play head. And second variable is gonna be the tape speed. So this machine has 7.5 inches per second and 15 inches per second. So these two variable with simple math is gonna determine um, the delay time we're gonna have. How do you calculate the delay time? Well, you just need to divide the distance between the play head and the record head and divide that by the tape speed. So for example, if you have um, a distance of 7.5 inches between the two heads and the tape speed is set at 7.5 inches per second, well, you're gonna divide 7.5 by 7.5 and that's gonna give you a delay time of one second. Of course, if you have a very speed control like this machine has, well, you can further adjust the delay time and you can match that to you know, the tempo of the song if you'd like. So how you wire that from your audio interface to uh, the reel-to-reel -reel tape machine? Well, if you have line level outputs and inputs on your interface, well, the setup is fairly straightforward. You're gonna take the line outputs from uh, the audio interface and put that in the reel-to-reel -reel tape machine. Fortunately, this one has XLR line level inputs and XLR line level outputs so you're gonna take the signal, put that in the reel-to-reel, -reel, and then take the line outputs uh, from the reel-to-reel -reel back to the audio interface line level inputs. And then that's how the cycle works. So let's try some tape delay effects using this reel-to-reel. -reel.
So that's it, authentic sounding tape delay with all the warmth you ever imagined. So please subscribe and like this video if you enjoyed this episode, and I'll see you soon. Shining the world.